Hi guys. Uh, Big Clive now refers to these as free street lithium to try and avoid YouTube algorithms. Uh, I'd stop picking these up because I've got more than I'm ever going to use. But I spotted this one today and I haven't seen these before. So I thought I would grab it and take it apart and see what's inside. It's clearly a rechargeable one. And it looks like this should slide out. Oh, yeah. So that's a replaceable or rechargeable reservoir from the looks of it. A bit of liquid in there. Obviously, the bit that I'm really interested in is the recharging. Now, I'm looking at the shape of this. I'm guessing the battery might be in there. It's not going to come apart. Oh, it might. It's giving way a bit. There's a gap there. I'm going to have to wash my hands afterwards. A bit of... It's Sunday today, so it's... Uh, refuse collection tomorrow, so I'll be able to put the bits straight in the bin, I think. I reckon we might want to get that bit off first. Back to the old tools. Oh, yeah, that came off and a bit flicked over there, a silicon seal. Doesn't want to come apart easily. This is more interesting than I expected. That appears, appears to be a solid molding. That, that was a nice click, as if something came loose. Yeah, a bit more movement. There we go. Right, we're in. Okay, yeah, the battery was in that bit, like it, I expected. Not a particularly big battery. 13,450. 13 millimeter diameter. 45 millimeters long. And the O indicating it's a cylindrical shape rather than a flat one. So can we get the rest of that out? Or does it have to go the other way? Okay, so that's just plastic casing in there. I'm surprised I wasn't able to get that to come out. No, that really doesn't want to come out. Never mind. So, stinky bit. No doubt got the wire in the middle of it. Yeah. Sorry, Clive. You're going to be my waste bin at the moment. So that's the heater element in there. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Those two, two little gold pins, 
push down into those two holes there where the heater wire comes up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's our heater. Definitely going to have to wash my hands now. There. That's uh, silicon. That's where the battery was. That's where the reservoir goes up in there. That's quite heavy as if there's still some in there. And that's the little bit that I'm interested in. USB-C to recharge the battery. Uh, I can't see a number on that little chip. There might be. But potentially you could use that as it is to charge the battery and then bring some wires off it to run something else. Because that's the uh, pressure sensor. When you suck, that recognizes what's going on and turns the battery power or takes the power from the battery and sends it through these two little pegs down to the heater. I expect there's an LED on there somewhere. Not seeing one. Oh, yeah. Tiny little LEDs there, I think. But I guess that would make sense. Sometimes when you put a bit of pressure on, and actually tell it you're sucking. Oh, that's not working. I could just put a meter on it. I'm going to wash my hands first, and then I'll put a meter across the battery and see what power we've got. 3.59. Well, that's not bad. It's by no means fully charged. Well, oh, I suppose I could put a USB power supply on there and just have a look at it. Right, so we can certainly charge it from there. But most of the rest of the circuitry will be redundant for most people's purposes. I did suggest... At one time, you could actually use these. It, it runs for about 10 seconds. And lots of model aeroplane free flight enthusiasts uh, with little models want them to run for 10 seconds. So potentially you could put your electric motor across those two tags. Uh, you need to trigger the sensor, which I did find you could do with an external button rather than trying to blow on it. Um, and the circuitry runs for 10 seconds, giving you a 10 second burst of power. I'll put a link in the video description to the tests that I did. Because it's one of those projects I got halfway through and never really finished. Um, in fact... The test aeroplane is on the living room table and been there since before Christmas. Anyway, we are charging, so that much works. Check the video description for various related links. While we're watching it recharge, I've bagged up the bits and put them in the bin. And I've also Googled the item to find out more about it. It's interesting. They've redesigned the uh, the system to get around the UK regulations. In the UK, you're limited to 600 puffs on a disposable item, uh, which basically limits it to a 
two milliliter tank for the liquid. And this one is uh, advertised or sold us 5,000 puffs instead of 600, which would normally have made it illegal in the UK as a disposable item. But the way they've got round it, that first bit that I pulled off is classed as an external refill tank. It's not actually part of the unit itself, even though it clips in place. The internal tank is two milliliters, and it's continuously supplied from the external tank, which is 10 milliliters. So added together, that gives you your 5,000 puffs. So a clever bit of redesign to get around the regulations. If that's your thing, my only interest is the free LiPo batteries that I can pick up, which as I've already said, I've got more than enough. I don't need any more, but I just thought I'd pick this one up and have a look because it was different to the ones that I've taken apart in the past. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.